Okay, everyone, today, today we'll be doing a wagon wheel for a um, dessert car we're going to be making for my um, daughter's first birthday party. So I could have easily gotten uh, a, um, a wheel that's already pre-made, but those are very, very expensive, and I did not feel like spending that kind of money on it. So instead of trying to do some DIY, before you say anything, I did look online to see if there's any way I could salvage, like, maybe in, like, one of those websites when you can, um, <clears throat> post you stuff. It still wasn't working out. So what I did is, I, after looking and researching online, I found this, um, actually this is a reef ring. I found this at Michael's for two bucks. So I purchased that, and I got these little dowels at, um, Home Depot, for I think these were 72 cents and I got two of it because I, I wasn't sure how many I was gonna need so far this is only costing me this has only cost what three dollars so far so and um, last thing I need I got a piece of cardboard I found around the house something that I want to resemble the circle that would be the middle of the wheel. <clears throat> I pick that, draw the circle, cut it out. This is just a piece of cardboard if you have if you don't, anything else you want to use. But I did not want to go to the dollar store even to even buy a piece of um, board when I could just use a piece of cardboard. So how it's going to go is how we're going to do this. We're putting our um, wheel like this. We are going to measure out. I have to find what is the best way to cut this. Um, either with a gardening scissors or with a little saw. Probably with a saw. So I'm going to stick this. You'll see later. It's going to be like this. This is going to stick like that. This will be our back area we'll be going working off of. And I will just be cutting afterward. And I think this will be the only piece that's this length. Every other all the other pieces are just partial length so I can arrange it to the way I want it to <laughs> but yeah so it would be like I'll cut it up to here here and this ring is a 16 inch um if they had a bigger I probably would have gotten bigger but they didn't have a bigger one so I opted out I like the thickness of this the size of that so I got that instead there are people online who are doing some with hula hoops you can do it with the hula hoops I choose not to because I've spray painted hula hoops before and it's just, I didn't like it. It's fine, but if I found this, especially in my area, I didn't, um, the hula hoop cost the, same, cost the same as this. So I opt out for this. This will be easy to spray paint with. It will be kind of like the same texture. It's just kind of like spray paint and be done with it without having like a glossy surface you have to work against. So yeah, I am going to cut the pieces and we'll come back and we'll see how it looks like. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I have so far. This is what I have so far. I end up cutting each pieces and I will be connecting it. What I think I'll do is I'll take another piece of um, board and put that on the back. That way you won't see all this um, all this crisscrossing here. So let's do that and uh, we're going to glue our dowels, our little sticks, to our ring circle. 